The space race in India is expanding and we have also one more new player called a Space Zone who are ready to explore the space and we have the mentor, distinguished scientist, uh, uh, Mind Samya Nadore. Thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. You have been the mission mentor. Can you tell us about this particular mission? Yeah, this particular mission is almost a repeat of what we have done a year back in February uh, to 2023 uh, in, the, in the similar uh, Magabalibaram uh, beach. We, we have launched a Rumi too. And, uh, but of course, at that time, outreach was not that, that level. So this time we are trying to reach it out a better way. And beyond that, uh, beyond that, uh, last time is, whatever we launched, uh, it's one, one time use. Uh, now it's uh, graduated, uh, so that such that we are trying to recover the uh, uh, stages and try to use uh, next time also. That means that reusable capabilities also we are trying to uh, prove that. So that, that's why it's a graduation over the previous thing. And uh, all the all the attempts, uh, the good good number of school students are part of that. And uh, this team itself is very young; uh, they are almost uh, fresh from the colleges. Uh, the team, whatever uh, uh, the, uh, taking space zone India uh, team itself, including Anand, uh, a fresh team. So that way, uh, it's a, it's a really a new idea, a new energy, new team, and uh, provide, bringing the youngsters into loop. So so that way, it's a it's a for uh, space education. Uh, this is going to be an end-to-end -end, uh, uh, thing. So you are a pioneer scientist from ISRO, and while they are using uh, liquid state and oxygen, like you have gone here with a hybrid rocket system and that to a mobile launcher. Any specific reason behind it? No, first and foremost is uh, the idea is how to reach out to the young students uh, with the practically feasible solution. Be beyond uh, the textbook, is it possible to go practically? You can make a satellite, you can make a rocket, you can launch it. So for that, safety is very, very important. Uh, that way, hybrid rocket gives a very, very safe uh, zone uh, where, as far as design and uh, execution is concerned, for all the testing, everything is concerned. So that is the, that is the prime reason why it is there. Because one is for educational institutions and for that you need a safe uh, system. So that point of view, this uh, helps in a better way. So then the reusability also comes. So this will give an added value uh, for uh, this point of view. So that way, end-to-end uh, -end education, uh, the rocket technology and space technology, uh, and including the latest of reusability, uh, to do that, uh, hybrid uh, uh, the rocket is a, a better option. So for like several decades, it was ISRO who actually handled all the rocket launch and things. But right now, private sectors are entering this particular space, literally. So how far do you think the private sector should be allowed into space race? Yeah, I think you look at here various spheres, uh, be it uh, media, be it... Uh, the telephone, uh, be it uh, uh, air travel, I think many things happened there already because the need of the hour, you need that the requirement is huge and uh, government alone cannot do this. So definitely need of the hour is so. Similarly, today, <coughs> need of the hour is uh, uh, the last four or five years you look at here, the number of satellites launched a huge number. First 60 years of the space age, whatever we launched, more than that will be launched for that. So this satellite will be maintained there. So that means to, towards that, you need a good number of launch vehicles and uh, frequency of the launches have to be improved. So all the things to happen, uh, uh, then, then you have to ensure that the, uh, the cost also has to be brought down. So when all this, this gives, yeah, this calls for a big competition. Once you go a competition, it is there. So that way, I think opening it to the private industry, it enables a good number of players coming part and parcel of this. When that comes, like as I told, I think today uh, India is the lowest in the data plan. Uh, we, even even our aircraft travel also much cheaper. And uh, I think Indian drawing rooms only sees more than 100 uh, TV channels. So when that we do, uh, I expect similarly uh, more than 100, 200, 300 satellites to be launched from Plus Air Button also going to happen. For that to happen, uh, definitely private industry can do a reasonably good job. That's what I'm going to ask you because with the rise of technology, the sensors are becoming small, satellites are becoming small, rockets are becoming less pricey. So what do you predict in the next 10 years for ISRO and uh, the entire space race in India? Yeah, you look at here, the issue, now you look at the, now you got it correctly. Now the thing is basically a large number of service activities. You launch it there, but you, commerce, commerce is not from there. Commerce is using that, what you can do that, okay? Now this, this many satellites will connect anywhere to anywhere. Everyone to everyone. Everyone to everything. Everything to everything. That means well-connected world, it, 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 it needs to be serviced. 
That means it enables a lot more activity, starting from agriculture to aeronomy. A totally different ball game is going to come. Like our uh, fixed phone to cell phone, how the change has come. Okay, similar change I expect here. So when that is happening, definitely the money is not launching, money is not in the putting the satellite. Money is what you are going to derive from there. That is the main thing. Okay, it, it is not the, this program whatever we are putting telecasting, but it, behind this program, what is going to come? That is the revenue for your media. Same thing. So similarly, like uh, now, as private sectors are entering satellite launch, ISRO is concentrating on human launch. Gaganyan, how excited are you? Are and do you have any updates on the player this week, sir? Yeah, that is basically this is one of the spin-off when you hand over the private industry uh, for these routine activities. So now ISRO is now relieved of this routine burden and it, it can graduate yourself technologically and scientifically. And that that calls for a human presence beyond the earth in future. Okay. So when human presence beyond the future it is called for, you can make an affordable solution and you cannot lag behind. So towards that definitely uh, what uh, uh, government has taken, giving maximum uh, thing to, uh, routine activities to the private industry. Uh, this R&D activities uh, in the hands of the uh, ISRO, uh, that will make it both to work well. And uh, as I know, told here, uh, definitely the day will come, human presence beyond the earth uh, called for. Colonies on moon and Mars. That is, that is one aspect. Another aspect is like uh, I used to tell, like our air travel uh, is be become the uh, more thing. And the, but now still time is forbidden, okay? Uh, from uh, US to this you have to fly, you have to fly more than 10 hours, 20 hours you have to fly. But uh, via space if you travel, even within the, uh, within the world, uh, your travel time can be reduced. For uh, various purposes you have to travel faster. So that way, uh, through space, even the travel across continent also can be cheaper. And you want to go to moon or Mars, that also you need that. So, Space travel is going to be the feature now. While we are ex excited about Gaganyan, the issue with Sunda Williams stuck in space because of this uh, star liner, that is also turning out to be a huge issue. Is that something to be worried about or is Sunita Williams prepared for all this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of programs? No, I, I, I cannot tell. As a human being, <laughs> definitely every, every uh, the delay people will worry. Uh, but uh, uh, my feeling is uh, uh, this is not because Sunia Williams is not the uh, only person. A couple of other other people are also there, and uh, we have alternate options also available. Technically speaking, uh, Dragon also can do, and uh, Russian flight also can do. It is not a, it's not a problem. Only thing is they have to rule it out. Totally, it is not. Because only thing is they are not hundred percent sure using the existing satellite when they will come back. But repair possibilities are there. Okay, even the space station, there are occasions where the leaking was there, some power issues were there, and they recovered back. So, okay, so this sort of uh, technical glitches and taking back is, is nothing uh, unusual. It can happen. Worst to come, uh, definitely there are alternate options also there. Um, as far as I am concerned, uh, uh, Sunita Williams and the other astronauts, I don't think so people will leave uh, them as it is. Definitely a safe route, safe way they will reach the Earth is uh, finite possibility. And uh, Sunita Williams have already has uh, uh, had a record time in the space. But this only uh, is, is not even a month over now. I think it's, it's okay. Thank you so much. Good luck with your launch. And that is Mansa Manadare very clearly mentioned that India is getting prepared for a wide space race. Divyan, Pramod Madhav, for Israel.